Hello everybody. Welcome to Object Oriented Programming with Java Laboratory. Student, in this video, I'm going to explain about program number 7 that is based on interface in Java. So here is the syllabus. The program number 7 says that write a program to generate the resume. Create two Java classes. One is teacher, another one is student. In the teacher, you should have data that is uh, personal information, qualification, experience and uh, achievements of the teacher. In the student class, you should have personal information, result and uh, discipline, which implement the Java interface resume with the method biodata. So in the interface, you should have one method called biodata and this is the abstract method and for this method, you have to write code, you have to complete this method in uh, teacher class and the student class. The interface in Java is a mechanism through which we can achieve the abstraction. So in the interface, we can have abstract methods. So with the help of interface, we can achieve 100% abstraction because interface contain abstract methods only. So abstract method is a method without body. You can see here, we have the biodata one method in the interface, but it doesn't have any body. It doesn't have any code. So for this, for this abstract method, we are, you know, writing the code in the classes. If you want to use any method which belongs to interface, we have to implement that interface. The question they have asked the personal information of the teacher. That is for the personal personal information, I have taken name. If you want, you can take the phone number, address, uh, whatever you want. And qualification, you should take it. And uh, achievements, you have to take it. All this I have taken of the type of string. For the experience, I have taken the float type. So uh, here is the method, the abstract method we are uh, uh, using in our uh, class. That is biodata, public wide biodata. So here I'm completing, I'm writing body for this abstract method. So name is equal to, I'm giving some name here, qualification I'm giving, achievements I'm giving some achievements. Okay, experience uh, I'll mention here. The same thing I am printing here. The teacher's resume. This is the teacher resume, name, qualification, achievement and uh, experience I'm printing. So this is one class which contains the information about the teacher in this, we have implemented the resume that is the interface and in that we have used, we have make use of the abstract method which is there in the interface. Now I'll go to the uh, student class. In the student class, we are implementing the same interface and we are you know making use of the same method which is there in the interface biodata. So uh, here the name, discipline and the result. So name is equal to I'm giving some name, result I'm giving some CGPA and discipline which are the branch name I'm giving something. Okay, the same thing I'm printing here system dot out dot student resume. So I'm printing name, result and a discipline I'm printing. So this is the class which contain the information about a student. Now here is the uh, main method, public static wide main. For this, I have created one class called uh, interface P. Here, I am creating the object for the teacher class to access the methods which are there in the teacher class. So, in this teacher class, I have the method called uh, biodata. If you want to access this, you have to create an object of the teacher class. That is what I am doing here. Teacher object one is equal to new teacher. So, by using that object, I am calling uh, the methods which is there in the teacher class that is biodata okay. then like that i'll create object for my student class i'll call the biodata of the student for this student class i have uh, you know use one object name that is object two by using that object i am calling the method of my student student let me show you the output i don't have any error i will run this Now you can see here, we are getting the output. So here we are getting the teacher resume and we are getting the student resume. 
Student, it is up to you. Uh, the, in the personal information, whatever information you want, you can add it. So this is uh, uh, only I have added name in the personal information and I'm printing it. So this is the output. The same output uh, I will show you in the Eclipse as well. We'll open the Eclipse software. Oh, this is the Eclipse software. I'll go to File, New, select New Project. Give the file name. I'll give Interface. Click on Next. Click on Finish. Then right click on this Interface project. Go to New, select Class. Give the name as a Interface P. Click on Finish. Now I'll paste the code. Save it. Run it. You can see here is the output. Teacher resume, I'm getting the teacher details. Student resume, I'm getting the student details. Student, I hope you understood this. Thank you.